guess what? How to be a Christian without being religious. <laughs> Sometimes there are classics that people never heard of. Gee, imagine that. A classic that might even be right on. We're going to take piece by piece sometimes the reality of Jesus and make it applicable to your life one way or another. We're either going to invade you spiritually or we're going to persuade you religiously because we're going to talk to you invocably about the religiosity that there is in Christianity to cause you to come to a relationship with Jesus one way or another. You're going to get saved. <laughs> no, you're not. You have the freedom of choice. You can go to hell if you want to. <laughs> Did he say that? <laughs> well, looking at the big picture, what is the big picture? You go to heaven, you go to hell. But that ain't fair. <laughs> Did anybody ask you if you wanted to be born? I'm just curious, you know. I kind of want to get this fairness part down. I want to understand completely where you're coming from. Did your father come up to you and say, Hey, do you want to be born or not? Well, that ain't fair. <laughs> you see, religion and politics, both, as well as philosophy, maybe socialism, maybe some theoretical sciences, all have given you some pretty weird ideas. As a matter of fact, if you think fairness is a concept, you got the wrong idea and been brought up the wrong way about the wrong things in the wrong time. Because we're discussing how to be a Christian without being religious. And it is fascinating. If you could just get the religion out of the way, but then again, you might be putting religion back into it. But that's for you and Jesus to decide. Shouldn't a Christian be religious? Well... How to be a Christian without being religious almost sounds like a contradiction in terms. Christianity is called one of the world's great religions. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We only got three, so let's go. Or do we? Christianity is called one of the great world's great religions, is it not? According to Webster, a religion is a system of faith and of worship. Well, Christianity is certainly that. According to Webster, a religion is the service to and adoration of God expressed in forms of worship. Okay, so far, so good. Christianity is certainly that too. According to Webster, religion is devotion, fidelity, conscientiousness, an awareness or conviction of the existence of a supreme being which arouses reverence, love, gratitude, the will to obey, and to serve. Hmm. That don't sound so bad. Christianity is certainly that and more. It's the more that is behind the title of this book and is what we're discussing today. Christianity is more than a religion because every religion has one basic characteristic. Its followers are trying to reach God, they're trying to find God, and they're trying to please God through their own efforts. Religions, all of them, reach up toward God. Christianity is God reaching down to man. Christianity claims that men have not found God, but that God has found them. Think about that. The next time that you keep telling everybody that, you know, you found God, really? You found God? Was he missing? Did he get lost? Hmm. Maybe in the universe he kind of got displaced. Maybe he lost his GPS signal. You found God? I think God found you and God reached down to you. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. To some, this is a crushing blow. They prefer the religious effort. Yes, we know. We would rather put on, you know, like grow a beard. Maybe put on a robe. Maybe go wee wee wee, or go oh yo 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 yo, or go woo woo woo, woo or um, or oi, or they. Hey, <laughs> what are we saying here? This puts them in control. Oh, so I'm part of a religion and somebody, not God, is in control to tell me what I need to do so I could go to be with you. I mean you. Ooh. Ew. Ooey. 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 Ooey, baby. Don't you want to get crazy? Don't you? Want to find God on your own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> this puts them in control and they feel good about being religious. Christianity, however, is not religious striving. So take that thought to heart for a minute. Keep that in mind as we go through this how to be a Christian without being religious. Think about the things we've already talked about already in such a short period of time. So short. We learned that the definition of religion sounds good, almost feels good, looks good, talks good. Hmm. But it's more than religion. That's one. Okay, so we got that down. Hmm. The reason why some people like religion is cause because it puts them in control and they got control of it and they put up little dogmas and doctrines and laws and statements of faith and things we do and things we don't and things we have to do and things we don't and all we do is go around and get our money, 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 honey, honey, honey. Tell them that they're saved, and tell them that they're depraved, and tell them that they can go to us today. Hey! Oi! So they feel good about being religious because, uh, you know, they're reaching up to God. They're reaching out to God. They're trying to find God instead of God. The Lord, your God. Finding them. Because you see, what the atheist, or what the agnostic, or what the person who doesn't know Jesus keeps saying, if God would just reach out to me, then I would follow him. If you've ever made that kind of statement, and you're not a Christian right now, you don't stand a chance, so you better quit watching this video now. Let me give you the warning. Warning, this video may be hazardous to your health, because you might get saved. God might reach out and grab you right through the video. Or by his spirit, he might touch you in a way you never thought you could get. Because you might become one of them weirdos that, man, they're saving not only the guys with rock star status, they're not just saving the movie stars, they're not saving the athletes, they're saving weirdo normal people like you. Ooh, this Christianity stuff might be contagious. Maybe, maybe if I can have a relationship without the religion, I might even try it myself. Don't think it. It could happen to you.